So some of you may be wondering uh, of the process of basically building um, a custom bike. We're going to use um, a smokestone build or some smokestone builds for, um, for examples. Smokestone bikes start off, obviously we've designed the frame, um, send it off to factory, we, we buy batches of frames in four sizes and basically when you come to um, purchase um, a smokestone bike from us, you can obviously buy it as a frame or you can buy it as a complete bike. If you want a frame, you choose your size and this is how they start out. This is a completely raw frame from the weld, basically out of the welders. Um, this is how it comes to us. We then um, ask you to choose uh, what finish you want. Um, we offer this as, because quite a few people quite like this sort of engineered finish, sort of more machine, you know, very raw and basic. So we offer this now with an anodized, um, clear anodized protective coating. So that basically means you get this frame, but it's protected from corrosion because aluminium does corrode. We now also offer a polished anodized frame. So um, it's as close as we can get to as, you know, really, really high gloss, high polished aluminium. Um, we've done one and it's come back really, really well. Uh, so that's, that's another option we offer now. And of course we offer painted frames. You can choose any color you like. We basically match, you bring us a sample of a color or you have an idea of a bike you've seen or you want it. We basically work to that color. Um, we, for straight colors, if you know what I mean, so that is a pearlescent or a flat color gloss or matte, there is a set price. Um, then when you go up, you have two color, split paint or chameleon they call it, which is um, probably the most expensive, but we do do it. And um, also now we're doing uh, like patterns, um, candy paint, all sorts of things. So basically we can do anything you want. So the next part of the process is basically choosing your components. If you want a complete bike, uh, obviously if you just want a frame, then it's a lot simpler. It's just a matter of colors, as I've said. But um, yeah, if you want to go for a complete bike, um, we initially sort of suggested complete builds, we listed complete builds, but from what we've done so far, we've hardly replicated a bike. So um, we offer uh, custom completes. You choose, you get, you get in contact with us via Facebook or you come in to start off with a budget and um, go from there. Most people these days um, are choosing to use mainly Hope components for headsets, bottom bracket and stuff like that. Uh, there's a new Hope crank out now, which um, is a new design, which is looking extremely, uh, well, looking like it's gonna be something that's really popular. It's got a much better uh, fitting system and removal. It's got a self extractor on it now. Brakes wise, again, Hope. Although we do offer, uh, when it comes to gearing, we offer SRAM or Shimano, like everybody else. Uh, it tends to be 12 speed now. As I'm talking to you, you can only get or bar XTR, you can only get 12 speed in SRAM, with GX being the most popular one. Um, but shortly we'll have uh, all the new 12 speed gearing from Shimano. Uh, that tends to be slightly better value, especially aftermarket. If you have to replace something, it tends to be a lot better. So yeah, uh, components wise, it's probably going to be mainly Shimano 12 speed, I would have said, with Hope components. And then other things, we, we use a lot of rental bars. Um, wheels wise, almost every wheel set we do uh, is Hope Fat Snow hubs uh, in the various colors and we build those into DT710 rims, uh, aluminium rim. It tends to be about the same weight as some carbon rims, some of the Nexty carbons and something like that. Uh, you don't really save much. They look bling, but um, when it comes to uh, long-term use, the DT710 is hard to beat. You can smash them into the, you know, you, you can dent them perhaps, but they'll still keep keep going. They'll stay tubeless. Uh, and tubeless is something you really need to do. Um, almost every fat bike we do. I don't think we've ever put a tube in a fat bike actually and sold it. So um, yeah, we, we carry all the bits and bobs to do that. So tubeless is a, is a must. Um, so complete builds, uh, as they're full custom, we're tending to find we don't really do anything under £2,000 now. Uh, we can go cheaper if you want it, but most people having chosen to go down the route of buying a, a custom bike are looking to buy a reasonably good quality kit to put on it, which sort of makes sense. So yeah, that's, um, that's basically it. Um, like I say, get in contact with us. 
uh, if you're, you're interested in having a bike built. We do have demo bikes if you do want, if you're not sure what it's all about with fat bikes, uh, you can come in and try a demo bike out. We've got quite a few, we've got every size. It's just a matter of popping in or ringing up and saying you want to book a bike. It's 30 pounds to take it out for a day. Um, and then you can uh, catch the fat bug and um, go from there. So that's about it for now. Uh, you can get details. Um, we do have some products on our Slam 69 website to buy. Um, there's a straight anodized frame, I believe is on there now, and some various frames that we've already had painted. Um, everything else is, is basically you, you contact us and we do it to order. So yeah, get in contact. We have got our own uh, Smokestone website, smokestonebikes.co.uk. That's got technical stuff on it. It's got lots of images of uh, previous builds if you want to see what we've done before. So um, that's probably a good place to start. And um, yeah, it'd be great to see you and uh, see where we go from there. Okay, thanks a lot.